is Earth Tone Music Productions. Hi world, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tengue Mugele and this is Love Being a Woman. Welcome to 2020 y'all, Happy New Year to everyone who's tuning into my first video in the year 2020. This is the year we do everything we've ever put out or put down to say, no, this I'm not going to do. This is the year we're going to do those things. This is the year we stop procrastinating. This is the year we change content, y'all. This is the year we change content. This is the year we start reintroducing ourselves. This is the year we grow. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I am introducing new content into my channel. And that new part of me is going to be called entrepreneurship or business building. So I'll be producing content that I feel is going to be helpful to you guys and this is simply because I've been receiving a lot of questions from some other females that have just entered into the business um, space and they want to know how do I do this um, yeah you know um, I've been mentoring these young ladies so I feel this is going to touch multitudes of people that need more or less similar advice on how to grow your business or start a business so it's not going to be the usual way of how to start a business or grow a business and all of that but I'll be giving you guys tools and advice um, that has worked for me and things that I have um, acquired over the time that I've been in business. For those that don't know, I am running Love Being a Woman which is a beauty spa. It's a business that um, has the following services, um, beauty, makeup, I run a makeup school um, or rather teach makeup, makeup school, I'm an image consultant and um, I'm in other businesses as well which is in the interior space, um, interior designing, interior styling space and a media company. So I'm literally running three companies. The two companies I'm in partnership and Love Being a Woman is my company that I started seven years ago. So with that being said, I'll just be sharing a little bit of the knowledge or knowledge or wisdom that I've acquired over time and I'll be sharing that to you with you guys. Um, so with that being said, I'd also like to thank every single person that has just recently subscribed to my channel. I am currently on 203 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, new subscribers. Without you guys, I don't think I will feel propelled to co to produce any other content because I'll be like, ah, what is the point? But because people keep on subscribing, that means they like what I'm bringing out to you guys through the space of um, the YouTube space. So thank you so much for subscribing. Um, and to my all subscribers, thank you for staying tuned and staying subscribed. You know, you, people can always unsubscribe, but thank you for just remaining in my world. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, I hope that you are going to be enjoying this new content that I'm bringing out. Uh, do leave any, um, do leave your suggestions, your comments below in, in, in regards to what I'm going to be talking about. Do like this video if you feel like it's of any help to you guys. And of course, don't forget to share with your friends uh, because this could be helpful to the next person who wants to start a business. So with that being said, y'all, I today I'm going to be talking about the art of business. Yes, the art of business. So I've jotted down a few pointers that I feel will be of great help to you if you are starting a business, if you are in business and want to level up in your business. And um, so here it goes. So the first point pointer is you. Your business is a reflection of who you are. And this speaks greatly to what you feed on and what you consume. And I know you guys know to say that we are a product of what we eat, literally of what we eat, the food that we eat, but we're also a product of what we consume. The music we listen to, the, the conversations that we have with our friends, our surrounding, our associates, um, and um, the podcast, the sermons that we listen to, we are a product of that. If you are not growing, the chances are your business is also not growing. So it is very important that you become intentional in your personal growth because that growth feeds into your business growth. So with that being said, I would like to emphasize the first point that uh, your business is a reflection of who you are. Also, what you feed 
um, what you feed on, what you consume, shapes your perception. It is very important in the business world because it is not always rosy and butterflies and rainbows and all of that. So when you don't have um, um, food to sustain you in those hardships, you won't be able to withstand when business is not going well. So what you feed on then allows you or gives you that strength to be able to endure when it's hard, when it's not going the way that you perceived it to or, or how you thought it would go. So it is very then it becomes very vital that you feed on things that grow the future you, grow you, so that you are able to view yourself from a futuristic perspective rather than what you're going through right now. Because I mean, when we start businesses, we don't always start where we see ourselves. We always start small, which is usually the case. But what will make you to stand um, with, a, with and being positive and being motivated? is that you know and you are feeding on something that informs your inner man that you will be great someday. It may not be good right now, but it will be good eventually because you are feeding that future person right now. And you are feeding that your work ethic reveals your hunger. So if you're not professional enough, if you're not punctual, if you're, your online presence is not strong, it doesn't, if you don't have a brand, if you're not a brand and you don't represent the brand online, if you, you don't treat people well, this, if, this automatically reveals how hungry you are in your business space. So you need to, your work ethic needs to show how hungry you are. So if you're not professional enough, you're not cultural enough, then it automatically means that you're not hungry enough for what you're doing. So this comes back to saying that how serious you take yourself is going to be reflected in how you run your business. So you need to check that as well as you go about business. If you start to slack on, on the appointments that you make for your clients, if maybe it's supposed to be the client at 10 and you get to your clients 30 minutes later and you did not even apologize and okay, this is what I encountered and all of that, then chances are you're just not hungry enough for what you're doing. Then I don't think you should be doing what you're doing on the business that you're in. So your hunger reveals, your work ethic reveals the hunger that you have for what you're doing. So you need to always keep check of that. Your punctuality, your professionalism, your online presence and how you treat people. It is very important. And thirdly, you need to be intentional in your business. Being intentional means that you need to invest in your business, guys. I mean, if you don't invest in your business, who else will invest in your business? No one else will. So you need to start investing in your business. And this, it's, 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 just, it's the most simplest thing ever. I mean, I, I'm always changing up my studio. I'm just always thinking of something new that I need to do, that I need to invest back in the business. Because as I invest, I'm unaware or unconsciously taking a risk and investing more money into the business. But in my mind, I know if I do this, then I'm drawing this type of clientele to come to my studio. Then I'm drawing this type of clientele to come to my business and come and buy the service that I'm offering. So you need to invest in your business. The way that you invest your business in, informs or rather reveals how serious you take a business and how serious you take yourself. So you need to invest in your business. You need to be intentional in investing in your business. And the other one is that you need to act like the vision that you have for yourself. So the vision, if you are starting a business or you've started a business already, you should have a vision um, on your wall somewhere, a vision board. You ought to have a vision for your business. You ought to have a vision to where you see yourself 5, 10, 20 years from now. So whatever that you're doing needs to feed the vision. So if you think of yourself as an international brand, then you need to start carrying yourself like an international brand. You need to start speaking like that, you need to start dressing like that, you need to start um, carrying yourself as such as an international brand. It doesn't start 20 years from now, but it's a build up. It's what you do daily that makes up the vision that you have on your, on your wall, in your office, in your laptop, on your phone, or anywhere else. So be intentional in growing towards the vision that you have for yourself. Being intentional is also very important. And the fourth point is that you need to lead in your craft. And by leading in your craft, I mean that you need to always research, 
studying, study what you're doing. You may be the best right now, but three months down the line, you may not be the best because of the trends that are, are, are coming up, what's coming up, what's going up. So you need to always know what is trendy. You need to always know what people are doing right now, just so that you are in check and so that you always stay relevant. Because that's the thing, guys. I, I'm, I'm a person who loves minimal makeup looks. Um, but it doesn't mean that the next person likes minimal looks. The next person could like color eyeshadow or popping makeup. And my business page needs to showcase that I am able to be versatile. It may be something that I don't like, but the next person may like it. But I don't pay my own bills. I don't pay myself. The clients pay what I do. They pay for what I do. So because of that, I need to be able to also accommodate a certain type of clientele. So this means that I need to constantly research and study and know what is trending, what is done, what needs to be done. It doesn't mean that I need to divert from what I am and what I like. It just means that I need to incorporate what is happening, what is trending right now into what I'm doing so that I always remain relevant for a broader clientele, right? So that's also very important. You need to lead in your craft, you need to research and study, and you also need to stretch yourself constantly. You must never rest in your business. You must always research, guys. You must always research, you must always, and I know it's not easy. It's not easy to change, it's not easy to stretch, but this is something that is vital for any business space. And lastly, you need to be the brand. You need to own up to your own brand.